Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you are well and if you are new to this channel my name is Joe and I will be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? As usual, always keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind and the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it always works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings I've done for your sign. But Taurus, more than anything, do check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. Don't just focus on your sun sign. And then you might want to go ahead, go ahead and check out some of the readings I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life. Sometimes that happens and it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. <clears throat> Last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel and to help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed. And for your kind donations, I truly appreciate all of your support. All right, Taurus. All right, let's get started. Taurus, you have the devil as the starting energy of your reading or the heart of the matter. Devil is Capricorn energy and Taurus, right off the bat, all I can say is that you are dealing with something that well, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to face, you're gonna have to confront, and you're gonna have to set yourself free from. Okay, it's time for you to maybe go after your independence, your um, your own emotional fulfillment. You're meant to break free from something. It could be something very controlling. I don't know what you're dealing with, but it's keeping you trapped. And it's not allowing you to be who you are truly meant to be who you truly are. Let's see, let's continue, we'll figure out what's going on here. The energy that's crossing, you could be a challenge or a blockage, is the Queen of Cups. Self-care, self-love. Some of you are dealing with something, it could be an addiction of some type, I don't know, maybe something. I think it affects your health. Or just your overall well-being and it's time for you to start seeing this and start taking better care of yourself now okay and you're gonna have to be very you have to protect yourself more you have to protect your emotions your health okay you have to start watching what you do what you consume what you eat I don't know, but there's a lot of self-care and self-love that has to take place here and it's not happening. This is why it's crossing, it's challenging you. This is the blockage, this is, you're, not, you're not doing this right now, you're supposed to. Okay, so there's a lot of self-work, self-love that has to be done here. Crowning you, conscious mind, you are aware of this and you're constantly thinking about it. It's the Ace of Cups, so you are aware about your love, self-love, your health, but you're not doing it. Maybe your independence, your happiness, your joy. Wow. <clears throat> Healing, you want to heal, you want to, yeah, absolutely. Might be even forgiveness, self-forgiveness. You know what, Taurus? Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Whatever you're going through, whatever you have to deal with, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? That's all I hear. Just don't be too hard on yourself. This is uh, probably some type of test that you're going through. And you have to deal with it. You have to confront it. You have to face it. And you have to fight it. You have to break free from it, okay? Below you, subconscious mind, you are not aware of this, or maybe you just have to focus more on this. this is the star, Aquarius energy. This 
is about letting go, purging. Allow yourself to dream, to hope. Don't you don't have to settle for less. You don't have to. You know, it's about high hopes, high, uh, dreaming, allowing yourself to. To desire for something, the desire for something better. Understand what I mean? Now you see how she's pouring the water. It's like purging, letting go. Maybe this is what has what you have to do, you know. She's naked, so she talks about being vulnerable, allowing herself to be vulnerable. If you have to, Queen of Cups. She sits with her emotions. She allows herself to feel, so whatever you have to go through, you're going to have to address those emotions, those feelings. So you're going to have to allow yourself to be vulnerable. And not be afraid of, of doing this. There's a lot of inner work that has to take place here. You are aware of it. You have to go through some type of purging. I sense a lot of hard work within yourself here, but it has to be done. This will be a ticket for you to a great new beginning in life, a new chapter. And you are aware of that because the Ace of Cups is crowning you. You know that there's something better at the other side of this. Once you break free from it, you know that there is this Ace of Cups waiting for you. More joy, more happiness, uh, overflowing. Okay. Behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, or you're meant to leave behind, is the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this devil energy is keeping you like this, whatever you're dealing with. If it's a relationship, a job environment, an addiction, I don't know. It's keeping you feeling miserable, abandoned, probably even sick, ill, tired, burnt out, overwhelmed, I don't know. But it has to be left behind. This has, this has to be left in the past now. You don't have to stay in a place, settling for less, feeling this way, being in this state of lack, poverty, bad health, lack of stability, abundance. It's time to leave this behind. In front of you, where you're meant to be headed to, or in your future, for some of you, is the Four of Swords. It's about healing, relaxing, resting, recuperating, quieting your mind, and something about getting the right messages from Divine. If you quiet your mind, if you put yourself in proper peace, you will get some type of clarity. And then you will rise and you will be ready for your next chapter. You are forging a new sword right there next to you. With these three swords above you, which are hanging, you know, which could be a representation of divine messages coming to you for you to finally accept, heal, and rise. I think that some of you, there is some type of acceptance that has to, to come in, you know, whatever you've been dealing with, you know, just understand that you well, you had to deal with it. Don't be too hard on yourself, but purge it, work in this, confront it, deal with it, cut it out of your life, and Prepare yourself. There's a lot of rest and recuperation here. 
that you have to do this after you deal with this devil energy. You're going to have to find a lot of time for yourself to, to work with yourself, to relax, to recuperate, and to heal. Okay? I think you're preparing for something new here. You are aware of something. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. But uh, yeah, um, you don't want to deal with this anymore. It has been keeping you at a very low vibrational uh, state. I think you're ready for something new now. But it's time to deal with it, to confront it, and to set yourself free from it. This is how you should see yourself or respond to the situations, the Three of Wands. That's, you know, allowing yourself to dream and to see yourself or project yourself in other places, faraway lands. You know, he's looking across the ocean at a faraway land way, way, way out there on the horizon. He's wondering to himself, you know, what's out there for me? Is there something better? Is there something new? See how he's turning his back away on something? Don't lose hope. Give yourself time. Give it time. As you heal, don't be too hard on yourself. I really hear that a lot. I don't know why. I don't know why, Taurus, but uh, yeah, you're meant to just allow yourself to, to see yourself somewhere else. Allow yourself to discover new things. To walk into a new chapter into your, li your life. You don't have to stay enslaved to this. It could, you could even be feeling obligated to stay here. You're not meant to. This is uh, surrounding you, influencing you, inspiring you, hermit energy, Virgo. Something is trying to guide you. Your inner self is trying to guide you, actually. You're trying to seek answers. Or you are seeing things for what they are. You might feel lonely. Or you might feel all alone right now. It's perfectly normal to feel this way. Sometimes we have to walk down a very lonely and dark path. We're meant to do this to find ourselves again. Let yourself be guided by your inner light, your intuition, your voice, your knowledge, your wisdom. Okay, some of you are very old souls. I can see that. Don't fear if you... You could be even surrounded by others and still feel very, very lonely. And it's perfectly normal. Sometimes when we grow, when we ascend, that happens. Okay? It's a very lonely journey. Embrace it and walk down that path. You will find the light at the end of the tunnel at some point, okay? But let yourself be guided by your intuition and your higher voice and your wisdom. In your hopes and fears, we've got the Three of Cups. And I just heard celebration, you know? You really want to have some type of success, victory, you want to be able to be in this energy where you are. It's a very positive. So to finally see the, the positive side of things. To be able to appreciate life. To be able to appreciate even the smallest things of everyday life. You know? Taurus, always allow yourself to be surrounded by, it's, yeah, it's coming from this energy. 
You see, when I say allow yourself to discover new things, to try new things, you know, try to surround yourself with more uplifting people, with people that are more positive, people who have their best interests, or they just wish the best for you, you know, that will help you a lot. I think they will help you up uplift, uplift you get you out of this five of pentacle energy where you feel that you might be unworthy that you don't deserve more it's not a nice place to be in you want to be with people more like this you want to be part of this type of people you know well you have to, you have to start surrounding yourself with people like this allow yourself to, to go after that you know, sometimes when we're trapped in this five of pentacle energy, when we're dealing with this devil energy, we feel so low, so low vibrational, that we think that we see others and we, we just feel like we, we're not even welcome to that environment, you know. And it's not a good way to think either, you know. You have to allow yourself to, to be surrounded by this. This is, this is connecting with your soul tribe for some of you, you know? Outcome or advice. Look at the Ten of Wands, which is letting go. I think you've been carrying with something for far too long already. It's time to drop it. Some of you have been dealing with something that's not even, you weren't even meant to carry with. This burden, this devil energy that has been keeping you trapped, it has not allowed you to move freely the way you're meant to. Uh, you have not been able to see the path that you're supposed to walk upon clearly. You're overburdened, you're, you're, you're overloaded. I, I'm going to say it again. Whatever you're dealing with, it's not your obligation to deal with. Uh, you have to drop this. Stop carrying these burdens with you or uh, responsibilities. They're not even that important. I have a sense maybe someone or something made you think that it was important. If it's so damn important, well, if for someone, then let them carry it themselves. Okay, but if not, you know, Taurus, it's time to let go and walk down this path freely. You're meant to heal. You're meant to do some type of magic. You're meant to shine. You're meant to have more in life. You deserve more. You deserve more. Remember that. There you are, nine of cups. You deserve more. That's self-emotional happiness. Being happy with yourself on your own. It doesn't mean that you have to be lonely all the time. But this is understanding that while well, it's reaching this point in your life where you're just so happy with yourself and the things that you have achieved and finally free finally free from burdens from toxicities which is very negative energies okay four of wands talks about harmony Synchroni synchronicities very balanced energy. You're meant to, I said it, you're meant to cross a gate or yeah, there's that gate from the three of wands to the four of wands. You're meant to allow yourself to see yourself somewhere else, somewhere more harmonious, more balanced, healthier. Judgment, you're about to close a cycle because right after the judgment, we have the world card, which is the last of the major arcana. 
this is a wake-up call for some of you. To tell you that the time is now to, to do something about this. Okay? It's time for you to answer to a higher calling. To leave behind what you have outgrown. You're not meant to stay here anymore. Okay? <clears throat> But it's judgment, it's time. Judgment is not about judging or anything. No, no, no. Actually, divine does not do that. Ju divine does not judge, questions you, criticizes you. No, no, no. Judgment talks about getting your ass in gear. Answering to this wake-up call. It's, a, it's answering to this telephone ringing. Okay, so it's time to confront this and uh, deal with it and leave it behind and to start your heal healing journey because you're meant to have more. You really are. Okay, let's uh, get additional messages, advice or warnings from this other deck. And then we will close your reading with the uh, Dream Decoder Oracle um, deck. Okay, let's see one more shot. Okay, that's better. Okay, what other messages do you have for Taurus regarding this reading or situation, please? If there's something else you need to say to Taurus or they need to know, what would it be? What other messages do you have for Taurus, please? Thank you. She is. The, I saw her when I when I picked up the deck, and uh, she just flew out. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Taurus, let go. Let go of whatever it is. It's not serving you anymore. Just. Stop holding on so tight to something, maybe. Okay. Okay, it's not that many. Let me just uh, arrange them. Oops, sorry about that. There we are. Three of Swords is heartache, pain. Heal. Take those three swords. It's the same three swords that are hanging on the wall. And forge that fourth sword with it. Okay? This is experience for some of you. But embrace it. And heal. Okay? Self-care, self-love. You're not meant to have this with you, carrying this with you all the time. Five of Cups, do not look back at the past, trying to wonder what went wrong, what happened, why, why you had to go through whatever it is that you had to go through. This is the energy that's keeping you from, uh, you know, r raising your vibration. Very low vibrational energy, same five, five, you know, just staying there. You are meant to have more, much better things in life. Eight of Cups talks about walking away now. Walking away from, you know, something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. I had the Nine of Cups here, so. From the eight, we go to the nine, you know? You have to walk into your happiness. But to do this, you're gonna have to make a sacrifice. I don't think that the place that you're in uh, fulfills you anymore. But you might be emotionally attached to it. It happens, okay? But it's time to say goodbye, it's time to walk away. Nine of Swords, don't let stress, anxiety get the best of you. This is why you have to Get proper rest.
quiet your mind. Relaxing, meditating, okay? But uh, don't, don't let anxiety and stress get the best of you, okay? Knight of Swords always talks about freedom, breaking free, moving forward. It's time to, to set yourself free from something and just start rushing to your new beginning. Like I said, you know, be patient. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay? But this is about just start moving. Okay? Start going with the flow of things. There you are. Oh, no. This is Capricorn energy. But it's also it's also an Earth energy. And then she's the one that I saw at the bottom of the deck. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Um for divine feminine earth energy okay this also talks about healing sitting with yourself some of you might be wondering you know uh, sometimes when we have to break free from things that are even toxic for us the doubts or insecurities creep up on us we start asking ourselves so how am I going to become independent self-sufficient it could be you know but I think they're also telling you, Taurus, that it's time to just start planning for the future. Try to project yourself in a more positive place, in a better place. Okay? Don't be too hard on yourself. She's also a very motherly energy. Okay? Okay. And last one, we got, again, the devil. That just reinforces, you know, that you are dealing with something that is just not, it's very toxic, it's, it's not healthy, it's not meant for you, and you're meant to deal with it, you're meant to confront it, and you're meant to set yourself free from it, okay? And you do not have to be, you don't have to stay here. You're not obligated to, 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 to do this or to go through this, okay? Don't let anyone make you think that you are. Not even your own mind. Okay. Let me try to shuffle these once. So they're very stiff. Okay. Let's close your reading with the Dream Decoder. Remember that whatever dream meaning that comes out of this deck, whether you've had this dream or not, it doesn't matter. Just take the message as additional advice that might help you later down your journey. Also, uh, the meaning does not have to be related or correlated with the reading in any way, shape, or form. Okay? Let's see, one more time. One more. Okay, Taurus, I got birds. Okay, so if birds mean anything to you, this might be your card. Well, we've been dreaming with them. So a bird or flock of birds is generally a positive sign, a symbol of freedom and joy, as well as your hopes and aspirations taking flight. There's your hopes, aspirations, your dreams. Don't settle for less. You're meant to be free. I think this is your card after all. Pay attention to altitude. Flying high can be taken metaphorically. The type of bird and its particular associations can be significant. Flying high, you know. Fly, allow yourself to dream big, period. Eagles, hawks, falcons, and many other predatory birds might appear threatening, reflecting insecurity. Although eagles can also represent power and pride. Songbirds can suggest inspiration, hope, a fresh start. The owl is traditionally a creature of wisdom and insight. There you are with a hermit. The magpie, a thieving bird, may hint that someone is robbing you or something, perhaps contentment or, 
something perhaps contentment or potential sorry about that if the bird is injured in your dream you may need to nurture yourself back to well-being in some way this is your card or possibly there are flaws in a relationship if you're the bird perhaps there's a situation you are trying to fly away from and i think that's what you're trying to do i think you are aware of that and you have to you have to face it you have to confront it okay taurus i hope that uh, resonates for you somehow but more than anything i hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life and if you do like it and enjoy it please do hit the like button leave me a comment i would truly appreciate it very much and uh as usual taurus i hope to see you next time and please do stay safe be happy and stay very blessed goodbye